Good morning, Paul. It's Tuesday, the 24th of January. Here's the heads up brief for today. For the Southeast Asia production, we covered 13 issues. In North Asia, we covered five. And for the Australasia and Pacific Islands, we covered four issues. In South Asia, we covered 15 issues, plus the major issues in the Europe, Middle East, and Africa region. Okay, thanks a lot, Udo. You just cut out how many in South Asia? 15. All right, good. go ahead. Paul, in Indonesia, Islamist groups have called for protests outside the Swedish embassy in Jakarta. This is after the incident in which a Quran was burned in Sweden. Uh, they haven't released a date for the protest yet, but they've said they'll do it soon. Okay, thanks. In Papua, an improvised bomb exploded outside a journalist's house in uh, North Jayapura district yesterday. Uh, he is the editor of the Jubi portal. Okay, great. I've reached out to one of our chaps to see if we can get more info on the nature of the IED. Um, yep. Just going back to demonstrations, I'm assuming we've already alerted the client base for yep. the Swedish. Yep. yep. Thanks. All right. Uh, Paul, also in Papua, there was an airplane that skidded while landing in Punchuk, uh, Punchuk Regency yesterday in the Highlands in an airstrip. Uh, I'm assuming there were no fatalities? Uh, none reported. Okay, thanks. In Bangkok, Thailand, uh, non -government, an anti-government group is going to organize a protest at the Bangkok Art and Culture Center from today to the 26th of January. Uh, they're likely to be small protests. I, I saw the description they were talking about small, non-disruptive anti-government protests, which is interesting. I mean, why have it? What's it going to achieve? Okay, back to you. Uh, Paul, in Papua New Guinea, seven people were killed in tribal fighting in Chiwaka province since the start of the year. And uh, different tribes in the Southern Highlands agreed to a peace agreement in Leh. All right, we need to dig in that um, tomorrow and have a much more clearer picture of that, okay, of what's going on there in Chiwaka province and also what the peace agreement is about and which highland tribes it is, okay? Yeah, sure, we'll do that, Paul. Uh, including their exact locations. So get the ladies to map that out for us, okay? I want to do a bit of analysis on that myself. Sure, we will do, Paul. Moving over to South Asia, uh, in Pakistan, there was a major electricity uh, grid breakdown yesterday that disrupted power to most of the country, including major cities. Electricity has been partially restored in major cities, uh, but works are still underway. And was the cause just a lack of fuel or was it a failure to the actual infrastructure grid? What 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 was the actual cause of the problem? Well, they haven't said yet. They said it was a fault, uh, but they haven't given more details yet. Okay. Keep an eye on that. That's yeah. interesting. Thank you. Uh, also in Pakistan, Imran Khan's party is going to organize protests in Punjab province from today after the government appointed a caretaker chief minister. All right, thank you. In India, intelligence agencies uh, have been placed on alert because there is a concern that uh, banned Islamist groups may reform ahead of the general elections next year. Okay, thank you. In Bangladesh, security forces arrested two terrorists of a relatively new group uh, near the refugee camps in Chittagong. Uh, now, these militants, according to authorities, have apparently been moving towards the refugee camps because of the security operations in the Bandarban area of the Chittagong hill tracts. Okay, I'd like to get a map done up as yep. well by the team, if we could, mate. I need to see the relative, and with the relative distances marked on on it between the various locations you mentioned there. I'm familiar with Chittagong, but not some of the other, um, Bandarban and, sure. and where it is in relation to refugee camps, okay? Yeah, sure. We'll do that, Paul. In the Europe, Middle East, and Africa region, in France, unions have threatened to cut off electricity over the pension reform uh, bill that is expected to pass soon. Okay. And in Germany, nearly all flights at the Berlin airport will be cancelled tomorrow due to strikes by ground personnel. Okay, thanks a lot. Look, that the issues with with unionism and union actions in France and England have 
particular interest to a lot of our clients. So specifically this France union and potentially cutting off electricity has an ability to incite a lot of anger from other and have a bounce back against the actual unions and lead to what is traditionally a very violent place, old France. So keep a real close eye on that one. Thanks. Yeah, sure. We'll do, Paul. That's a brief for today. Anything else from you? No, thanks. Great. I'll see you on the next meeting. Cheers. Yeah, sure.